everyone welcome back to my youtube it's your girl honey today we are talking about the compatibility between libra and virgo this was suggested by a loyal subscriber so i thought i would get out of the way otherwise i wouldn't probably have done it so soon um i'm doing compatibilities more based on requests now more than just because so what can i tell you about the compatibility between these two first of all Virgo's element is earth it's home to the sixth house on the natal chart its ruler is mercury its co-ruler is Gemini the sixth house represents day-to-day -day activities your health your well-being and your employment then you have Libra Libra is home to the seventh house the house represents we are house of others contracts business contracts Libra is the co-ruler to Venus which is ruled by Taurus and Libra's element is air so when these two come together what can I tell you about them just before I do kind of get started I want to just mention this this is going to be purely based on the sun signs I'm fully aware of the moon aspects you know your risings your Venus Mars etc however this is going to be purely based on the sun to sun compatibility okay so with that being said, um, when it comes to these two, I don't look at this as being the best match ever. However, you know, in some cases, depending on how far your degrees are into, into Libra, um, you know, or even Virgo, if your Virgo is at 29 degrees sun, you might definitely have some Libra energy, which makes you a little bit more um, compatible with your Libra spouse, okay? So we have to... Bear in mind that degrees play a massive factor in how compatible you are with people also. And obviously the rest of your chart plays a big part in this as well. I find um, when it comes, because Virgo is ruled by Mercury, they value communication more than anything. Communication, routines especially. And when you have um, Libra, they value being in relationships with people like loving relationships relationships with, with other people friendships so when you put these two together i tend to find that um libra has a clingy energy about them because they like to meet different people and you know create bonds all right so meeting a virgo who's very interested in talking to them that's creating a bond there and then and obviously Libra's going to want to listen because it's attention Libra likes the attention and Virgo likes to give because Virgo is the service they are the helper they enjoy talking to people a lot all right now because Libra is the co-ruler to um, Venus Venus is the planet of romance you know love it's usually what you're attracted to also um if your venus is in virgo this might make you even more attracted to the virgo sun person you know likewise if your venus is in libra if you're um a virgo if if you're a virgo yourself you know libra tends to want um the romance they they like they're very superficial in a sense where you know because they are ruled by beauty they are ruled by venus they tend to be superficial at times in their relationships and they seem to always want someone who's very attractive I find Libras always get with partners who are desired heavily by others you know when you look at a Libra person's partners chart you know they tend to have aspects that make them very popular you know Jupiter trines their Venus things like that you know and when it comes to Virgo Virgo's ruler is Mercury so they tend to be um sapiosexuals i think is attracted more to what's going on in here than what's going on over here they want to just they, they value communication so talking and exploring minds is more important than how someone looks and how lavish their lifestyle is how glamorous things are so when these two do hook up and get together i tend to always wonder what's attracted you guys together apart from what i've just said and apart from your charts you know because it's a very unusual match however okay we have jada pinkett smith who is a virgo and she is with um will smith who's a libra you know and they've been together for years and you've got 
Sin Santana and Joe Budden, you know, who are having a baby and Sin seems very, very happy. Now, let's just clarify this because they seem to have a very typical Virgo Libra kind of relationship, in my opinion. All right. And I say this because when Virgo gets into a relationship with someone and Wiz Khalifa does this, Joe Biden is notorious for doing this. If someone else does it, you guys let me know down below, yeah? But when Virgo gets into a relationship, they tend to promote their partners. They like to, they like to let the world know that this is my partner, you know, um, let them be great. I'm happy with them. Everyone see and look at my partner. They like to promote their partner on social media a lot. And, of course, Libra is going to love that. Libra is going to thoroughly lap that shit up because they do like the attention it also makes them feel like their relationship is a lot more validated now because it's it's publicly known to the world that i am in this relationship and i'm not i'm no longer i am i am now we are now the thing is with libras because they do have a superficial nature about them they tend to go for partners like i said who are desired by other other people a lot but they tend to go for partners who is able to provide them with a certain type of lifestyle you know someone who has a really good job or someone who um has a really high status someone who's respected highly in their community because it makes them feel good in there they are they are very superficial in that kind of sense libra like men who are able to cater to them to show them the romantic side to things because they are they are the co-ruler to venus you know they like to feel like this man is gonna take me to a really nice place and wine and dine me and they love that it's very easy to woo a libra okay because they like all the things that's available in the world right then you've got virgo and virgo tends to kind of hold their 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 passion or they kind of they're quite reserved in their passion and i find i always say this but virgos are um very much slept on in very much slept on in the world because they are not they don't really exude passion they they can be quite quite nerdy at times depending on you know the rising and stuff but they can be a bit nerdy and they can't they're not usually the most sexual sign and um, seen as the most sexual sign in in the zodiac so so that can definitely stimulate some type of issue with the libra because libra likes the superficial people who seem really like attractive to others now the good thing about this union okay is that libra is very sociable they're social butterflies they would be ideal to help um virgo to come out of their shell because virgo can be virgo's very awkward energy as well like when you first meet a a strong virgo aspected person you know they're a little bit awkward you know hi hi yeah uh -huh, okay a bit awkward in the face and you know just very nervous energy and Libra is amazing in social settings, you know, they can walk and talk to anybody, they're very much appreciated, they know how to handle conversation, and, you know, Virgo tends to have a lot of insecurities, and I always say this because Virgos tend to block a lot of blessings that they have coming their way because they worry a lot, they have a lot of anxiety, and um, in this unionship, I do see Libra being the person that can show them, bro, it's fine, like, chill, like, you haven't got to behave like that. But I find that, you know, usually Libras always come into new relationships out of, a, out of the last one with a wound because they are constantly in and out of relationships. Remember, Libras like to create bonds. So they're constantly in and out of different relationships or they really want a relationship and they can't get one and it just makes them feel undervalued and because virgo is all about the working virgo likes to work to keep relationships and this will also help libra feel valued because virgo is working to keep their relationship together now because um libra is so sociable and you know they're very active in what they like to do um, Virgo has this, Virgo can be very jealous and because they tend to suffer with a lot of anxiety and um, in many cases they do have, a lot of them have 
you know, dealt with depression and stuff, you know, they tend to have trust issues and, you know, they can accuse their Libra, their Libra spouse of cheating and, you know, you're doing too much and Libra is very flirty energy, you know, um, it's also known not to be the most faithful son of the Zodiac, but doesn't mean Libra, Libra people can't be faithful, but it's not the most, um, it's not the most faithful energy to have because it's very sociable and it's about creating bonds with any and everybody in order to um to feel value that's what it's about so this unionship in my um, this is my interpretation of it it's not the greatest but when you put the two charts together and do a synastry there could possibly be some really wonderful trines going on that would make them a lot more suited so if we're talking about just the two signs together, whether it's, the t if it's Mars and Venus, you know, even if it's sun to sun or sun to flipping moon, it, this is what it means. It doesn't work properly. Okay. But it doesn't mean that you shouldn't be dating your Libra or your, um, your Virgo partner. If it's working for you, then let it work for you, you know, good for you. So that is my interpretation of Libra and Virgo. I hope you guys have thoroughly enjoyed it and I will see you on the next one. Take care people.